But while the opening of Parliament took center stage today, a legend in broadcasting also took to the stage today to end a chapter in his career. He officially said goodbye here at ZNS while hosting the big show. Tonight we pay tribute to Anthony Ace Newbold. Hi, I'm Anthony Newbo. Welcome to Legends, the Untold Story. 215 episodes since September 2003, Legends host Anthony Newbold is crafting his own, telling the stories of some of the country's most important and influential players has been his focus for the better portion of his 22 years in broadcasting, which came to an end on his final broadcast, today's opening of Parliament. We also bring the curtain down on my broadcasting career, 22 years of helping to educate and inform the Bahamian people, a career that has taken me to the Great Hall of the People in Beijing, China, and to Africa where I was honored to be installed as a member of the Executive Council of the 79 member African, Caribbean and Pacific Press Clubs Federation. I wish to thank all who helped to make my time in broadcasting an exciting adventure. No names, of course, but you know who you are. Thank you all as I move on to the office of the Prime Minister as the first ever press secretary, continuing my work educating and informing the Bahamian people. Last year, Newell took the Bahamas Press Club he revived several years prior to a new level, forging important linkages in Europe and Africa. The Bahamas Press Club, through me, is now known in Africa and in Europe. Go out there. Uh, they do the same things we do. But again, that experience of going to Africa, forming the ACP Press Clubs Federation, 79 countries, you can't buy that experience. Um, as a consequence of that, and later in Brussels, they voted me as vice president. Of course, at the formation of that federation, I was voted to the executive council. And then later in Brussels, they voted me as vice president. I think many more Bahamians can do what Anthony Newbold did. Newbold cites his defining moments in his career travel throughout the country with former Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram. And as he leaves the profession to become the country's first press secretary to the Prime Minister, he leaves with it this hope for journalists present and future. I think one of the things that journalists must do, uh, continue to educate and train themselves, uh, engage in training to improve how they do what they do. And as important as all of that, go out into the world, 